Hi there everybody, Nicole Cunningham here. Uh, thank you so much for joining my page. It's been so amazing to see so many of you come uh, over and support me in this wonderful new space where I'll be talking about all kinds of uh, different tips around wellness, around parenting, conscious parenting, around food, nutrition, uh, meditation, uh, lots of tips about entrepreneurship and, and basically just keeping up to speed with all of the different projects that I have going on uh, and the impact that we're creating as a result of them. I wanted to record a short video to just share with you that I'm actually working out of Bali. I've been here for five weeks and we've got one more week to go. Um, and it's just been amazing to see the health of people here and how it's so different in the West. And I want to talk about specifically with gluten. So there's a lot of children here who are just joyful. The children that you see here are joyful. It's not just cultural. It's because they don't all suffer from this incredible and imbalance and, and bacteria overgrowth in the gut that happens as a result of things such as candida, gluten intolerance, celiac, things like that. Because the diet over here, any of the Eastern diets, is so high in rice as opposed to all the gluten that we eat in the West, makes such a difference to the temperament the psychology, uh, the mental clarity, um, and then also the energy of the kids here. And so it's just been so joyful to be able to watch the kids just being really free and open instead of being, for the one or another better word, drugged by gluten. So if you have a special needs child or you have a child who uh, you think may be on the spectrum or you have a child who um, is really struggling with tantrums or can't sleep or has any kind of imbalance that you think, gosh, this is just getting hard, the behavior is getting worse or this chronic condition won't go away, even things like recurrent illness, I'd really encourage you to play around with getting gluten out of their diet. It is such a toxin. And uh, for those of you who want to read more about it, there's just a brilliant book called In Defense of Food. Uh, and it's by Michael Pollard or pollen, I can't actually remember, oh, it starts with a P. Anyway, uh, I will put it in the in the link for the, the videos of where you can get it. You can get it off Amazon, any good book depositories, called In Defense of Food. Now, it's absolutely amazing and talks about the bastardization of our wheat and how wheat has become hybridized wheat, which means that the gluten level has gone higher and what is happening in the chemical process of how our, our grains are actually produced. So as much as I'm not a huge advocate of the paleo diet, I am a big advocate of gluten-free. And we have a very strict gluten and dairy free home um, and it just makes such a huge difference to all of us and it's just been so lovely to see the kids over here uh, not having all of those symptoms of gluten intolerance and gluten toxicity that I see all the time in my clinic. So if you want some more information about gluten and gluten intolerance, um, I've also got a blog on my website, www.pureforceremedies.com, which is all about gluten, the symptoms of gluten intolerance and how to go about pulling that out of their diet um, or out of your diet. Um, so I'd encourage you to go over and have a look at that blog. But also, if you've got any questions, anything specific, definitely leave me a uh, a comment and I can get back to you on that because sometimes uh, the gluten intolerance and getting that out can be so big and unfortunately it's one of those things that has to be completely eliminated for you to see the difference um, on every single fundamental level because the gut gets so much damage from gluten. So one of the things that it does do is it creates a illness called leaky gut syndrome and because of the damage it creates in the gut you actually create uh, gaps in the fibers on the outside lining of the intestines and through through your gut which creates leaky gut syndrome so instead of them actually being really tight and this barrier not being able to permeate between the outside and the inside of the gut it becomes very loose as a result of the damage the other thing that gluten does in the gut is it actually kills all of the microvilli so we have thousands of little microvilli that are all the way through our intestine which helps us not only with absorption of nutrients transit time um, and actually moving things through our bowel if those those die as a result of gluten then we can experience things such as wind constipation flatulence um, all kinds of brain gut connection and, and influence which of course we see in a lot of our spectrum kids and a lot of kids with special needs so there's plenty to read about and learn about in gluten so I'll record more videos as we go but I just wanted to share with you uh, the importance of gluten and that I really encourage even if you don't have symptoms uh, consider a trial of just taking gluten out of your diet for at least three or four weeks and just see what you notice okay that's enough for today and I look forward to talking to you soon bye